Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius, my Aqua babies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from 25th of April till the 1st of May. Guys, please remember these are general reading times, fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time. Welcome aboard, welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back. Whatever you are doing for this channel, whether it's a view, a like, a comment, a share, everything matters and makes a difference. So thank you so very much Aquas for doing that. We are going to jump straight in. I see Eight of Swords energy. We are feeling somehow a bit stuck up in something like a uh, hiccup a stuck up uh, a halting energy of sorts is it let us see what is the challenge we're gonna look into the challenge the advice from the universe and the outcome of the advice is taken of course clarify all these energies and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message this time around we are using moonology this okay and the outcome what is the overall two of swords look with that eight of swords two of swords in the head not sure there is a sense of a sense of halt as i said something is leaving you in your head something is making you think about things something is leaving you in a sense of dilemma or a sort of confusion you kind of know what you want, but you do not know how and when. Hmm. Five of Wands. Competition is there. Some kind of conflicting energies is there. As I said, you know what you want, but you do not know how and when to get there. So that is what is troubling you. Queen of Wands, it is time to put your thoughts, your plans, your homework that you've done into action with the confidence of this Queen of Wands because this is not only a determined energy, it's a very go-getter kind of energy. Be confident in yourself and go about it and go with that confidence, you know, fake it till you make it kind of a thing if that is what it takes. And look, we are planting seeds for something big here. Yes, this action that needs to be taken despite the fact that we have all this when how whatever is going to help you get in a phase wherein bigger better things are expected out of life let us clarify this aquas let us see what is this competition competitive some kind of clash of energies or some kind of a halt that we are feeling in whatever we are going to do when how where lots of questions lots of questions five of wands spirit why do we have five of wands in the challenge what is this five of wands energy that is leaving my aquas in their head? See, nine of cups, you're so desperate to get to where you want to be. There is a sense of desperation of, you know, making something happen. When, how, when am I gonna, you know, how long it's gonna take for this, whatever project that is you know to the heights where i want it to reach or when i will be able to do or how am i going to reach my dreams all of that well let us see queen of wands whoa that is not what i am taking no 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 too many i see emperor here so yeah long-term plan is what is needed not taking any of those cards if the emperor has to come it has to pop out and what is this that wants to come for sure let us see what is it something flipped something did flip the world 
the world right there is waiting for you oh my god look at that the king of wands and the queen of wands the masculine and the feminine coming together for you to have this kick start yes it is that go-getter energy that i was talking about it is you know putting that plan that homework that you have done so far into action and having the confidence in yourself that you will be able to do that you know this is all about aligning your energies i see all these energies here from the far-sightedness of the eagle to the depth of the angels or the star or whatever you want to call it to the ferocious nature of a lion and the stability that the bull can provide all of that coming together all energies coming together masculine and feminine everything coming together to help you out if you believe in yourself and be confident and apply that that you have thought through that you have definitely this in the head feeling is not what you want it is when and how what do we have two of pentacles with that seven of pentacles so clearly whatever you are working is a long-term thing and uh, it might take a little while for this to you know be a fruitful venture of sorts it will take time with the chariot but we are moving in the right direction with that eight of cups in the reverse and the sun man so much of fire here so much fire here with that eight of cups in the reverse it feels like this is not going to be a complete brand new start it feels like that you would be for a while juggling with a few things that the exit for you with that chariot is not going to be a you know final complete stop and a go this world the new beginning is in a way overlapping from what you are here or what you are doing and eventually it will build up and turn into something of its own but right now it feels like more in a segue kinds in a sidewalk kind of a thing in a side hustle kind of a thing rather than being a main hustle because there are other hustles going on there are things from the past that are still around that you are still juggling with and that is fine till the time we know where we are headed and we know how to execute the plan that we have come up with and rather than questioning it just going and applying that let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading my fire kissed moonology deck is here to help us spirit what is the final word for my aquas for the spread that we have right now it's not the what it's how and when you will be able to get to your dreams well the time is now take action what do we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius that is your energy right there in full glory believe in yourself have that confidence and go get it go get that that abundance is waiting for you that sun is about to rise and shine for you my aquas lovely full moon in aqua let us read that this card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever the situation you are asking about someone might be keeping you at arm's length now but it's no bad thing it's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress even if change seems like a frightening prospect if you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what makes you special in a relationship are you being aloof or detached go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you 
this right here i feel is what we are kind of being hesitant because of whatever that hold that hurdle of sorts in our thought process or in general that we are feeling and you are told there is no reason for you to question yourself or hold back or you know not go with your plans be confident in yourself and you go and get it and this whatever action that you are going to initiate right now is a seed that is planted for something big long term and it's going to be a gradual progress towards that but it is definitely going to be a progress that is leading towards something very 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 good you are too much in your head get into your heart and once you get into your heart once is all about wearing your heart on your sleeve and going with your heart's calling so do that absolutely beware of your feelings but also be prepared to move on so knowing where you are helps you also planning further and on that rather unconventional note i'm gonna take your leave guys i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods